Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Shahan and I am the Transition Year Coordinator here at Nina College. I'm going to talk you through a brief overview of what the Transition Year Programme is all about. We're going to start off uh, with the Transition Year Admissions Policy. Basically what this means is it's the policy which has been laid out by our school for uh, students who wish to apply for Transition Year. In this policy you'll see in step one the parent or the guardian of the student must attend the information evening. However, in the current situation that we're living in with the COVID-19 uh, virus, we obviously cannot come together as a school community at the minute. So I am looking for both the student and the parent to sit down together and to listen to this presentation and then to discuss together about the possibility of putting your name forward for transition year. After this presentation, if the student is interested, they must have complete the application form. This form will have to be submitted online this year and it will have to be submitted within the deadline which will be provided. Um, from here then, uh, myself and the TY core team, the, the core team in our school is made up out of myself as TY coordinator, our program coordinator Mr Johnston, our current third year year head which is Miss Salmon, our guidance counsellor, Ms. Maharaj, our AEN coordinator, Ms. Tracy, and our school principal, Mr. Kennedy. This group of people will sit down and we will look at each student who has put their name forward and we'll assess them under the following criteria, which is outlined in our policy. That includes their behaviour record, their attendance, their punctuality, and their adherence to the uniform policy in the school. From here, if the student is deemed suitable for the TY programme, a interview will be arranged at a later date. The student will sit down with me for interview and we'll go through a number of areas about the program. Uh, from here, I will go back to the TY core team and if we feel the student is suitable for the program, an offer will be sent out to the student in the post. So what is the aim of transition year? Well, the overall aim for this program is to develop the student in their education, in their personal development and also in their social development and of course this will be an individual process for each student. The year itself is divided up or split up into two terms. We start in September and we go on as far as our Christmas holidays in December. We return in January and we finish up at the end of May. We'll now look at the timetable for transition year under this two term system. So. There are seven core subjects, as you can see here. In addition to these seven core subjects, there are 16 modules. We'll quickly take a look at these modules now. The example here is our current group is split between TY Group A and TY Group B. Each group is currently studying eight modules each. And when we got to our Christmas holidays, this, the modules that Group A were studying were switched to the ones that Group B were studying and vice versa. So the modules are rotated after Term 1 is complete. Now, when it comes to transition year, you may be thinking, is there exams, is there tests, is there assessments? And the answer is yes, there is assessment done in transition year. In each subject or in each module, which we've seen in the previous slides, work has to be complete whether it comes in the form of a project, a presentation or a written test, this will be decided by the teacher of that subject or module. And also, a grade will be provided for each subject or module and feedback will be provided by the teacher. Now to keep the parents of the students informed, all of this information will be uploaded and updated onto the VSWare system for each module and each subject. And again, to keep the parent in the loop and to keep you fully informed as to what's happening with the student, you will receive a text message about these results and this feedback being updated on our VSWare system. Outside of assessment, you will also receive text messages from myself, the TY coordinator, about the student, should their student profile be updated uh, on a weekly basis. Now, skills that can be developed in transition year include leadership. Uh, leadership can be developed in a number of different ways outside of those modules and subjects which we looked at. Here we see a student can get involved in roles in the mini company or the young scientist um, projects. 
and competitions in addition to TY group events which will be happening throughout the year. You can develop leadership skills through the six week public speaking course which is held usually in January. Also we have the Big Brother Big System Sister program which is all about developing leadership um, skills where we pair up the TY student with a first year student in the school. Uh, the student can help in running school events all throughout the year uh, in addition to different sports and activities which will be happening throughout the year. In the Goshka Award, the student is learning about and doing a specific subject in leadership. We've had TY students this year take part in teams in the robotics competition, which was led by the construction teacher this year. You'll see here different pictures of the students taking part in leadership uh, programs, events and activities throughout the years in transition year. And now we're looking at community. What happens or how do the students get involved in community? Well, this happens very regular and is spread in a variety of ways throughout the year and transition year. One uh, organisation we have a great involvement with is the Horse Riding for Disabled Club here in Nina. This happens every Wednesday where four students will go out and help out with the activities that happen with this club. We do different things such as collection days, students have put their time forward to the likes of Bernardo's, to St Vincent de Paul, to the Mental Health Association, to the Tidy Towns Association also, uh, where these organisations need the help of students in the community in order for their efforts to come together and be successful. The HOPE uh, charity is an organisation that organised the Shoebox Appeal, which happens obviously at Christmas time. In addition to Nina.ie in past years have come to our school and asked us for students involvement and participation. We have a great link with the Active Retirement Club and the Nina DRK Centre where students may often go out to do games or to do music or just simply to spend time with the older adults in our community. Health promotion is a huge part of our transition year programme. Students can learn a lot about themselves through their own social and personal development, through activities such as yoga and positive mindset classes. These are held in the first term every Monday morning with Siobhan O'Leary. We have completed a six week healthy relationships course, completed and delivered by Jenny Fahey from Life Connections, including a follow up programme where the student learns about different types of relationships which they'll be involved in in school and beyond school. We've done a variety uh, which we'll look at of physical activities, we'll examine these later on. We've had guest speakers and workshops of covering topics of positive mental health including suicide prevention. We've looked at different things such as how we can understand the effects of alcohol and drug use uh, in society also. We hold a specific health promotion week which ties a lot of this together. We focus on four key areas about being connected, being aware, being active and of course being social. Being connective, a big part of this is about the use of phones and taking a step away from the use of phones and the over-reliance of phones in our lives. In this week phones are handed up at 9 o'clock each morning at the 10 to 9 registration and students receive their phones back again at 3.30. In addition to this, students will be uh, challenged and will be expected to take part in a digital detox challenge where they hand up their phone for a full 24 hours. This is proved and deemed very successful for our students. Outside of being connected in the Health Promotion Week, we've looked at being aware, looking at things such as the use and the misuse of alcohol and drugs in our society. We received a talk from the Community Substance Misuse Team. We've done uh, a workshop with uh, nurse Phil Keaton from the Ree Keaton Foundation about health. We've looked at the power of positivity from a guest speaker, such so, uh, our Paralympic athlete from Boris Akane, Killian Dunn. We've looked, focused on the area of being active by organising mixed gender uh, soccer games and other games such as Olympic handball. We've done fun activities such as wheelchair rugby and bubble soccer where both boys and girls can compete and take part together. Being social, we focused in on this in our Health Promotion Week in 2019 and 2020 by organising a cinema trip on, the, on this Health Promotion Week and also taking part in a social breakfast on the Friday morning. 
we can see here different pictures pictures from the past of the ty groups taking part in their health promotion weeks Enterprise and innovation is another key area when it comes to transition year. Students receive the opportunity to take part in mini company modules where they develop their own product and learn how to put together a business. Young scientist project where they put together a science based idea and present that to a group of judges and hopefully uh, they may receive the possibility of pro progressing forward in the competition. In addition the same happens at mini company module. The AIB Build a Bank project is ran in conjunction with the AIB Bank. L students learn all about banking in this project and set up their own school bank and again it's pro competition based. So the harder the work, the greater the possibility of progressing in this project and competition. In addition, as I said earlier, group events are a huge part of transition year and learning all about how group events are delivered in our school and being a part of this delivery by being teams for these group uh, based events. We've f focused on the Halloween disco, we've looked at baking competitions, we've organised char charity hurling games, we've looked at cinema mornings for our first year students, we've even organised I'm a student get me out of here competition, we've organised a fundraiser based on a physical endurance test and also a first year soccer tournament. All of this created and provided by the transition year students and delivered to their school community. Work experience is a big part of the transition year program here in Nina College. It's delivered and every single Thursday. So the students uh, will commit to class and follow their timetable Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And on Thursday, it's timetabled into our timetable that we have work experience. They will do a half day obviously on their Friday as well of just regular classes but on the Thursday we're looking at work experience and each student must complete a minimum of three hours work experience and a maximum of eight which would bring them up to their school hours. Students must have this work experience secured before they return to school in late August or early September depending on the timetable for 2020-21. Um, so it's absolute paramount that the student has their work placement uh, sorted and ready to go and to begin in September. If the student happens to be missing for a valid reason such as illness, they must contact their employer and they also must contact the school to inform both the employer and the school uh, about their absence. The recommendation from our school here is to avoid switching, switching employers uh, on a regular basis unless this is deemed necessary. I would recommend that students complete work experience between September and their Halloween break. If they decide they'd like to switch, they can do from Halloween to Christmas. If they're happy with their employer, they should stay with their employer up as far as Christmas. They have the option of switching then from January until their Easter break, and then they can make their own decision if they'd like to switch again after that. But again, it's only one day per week, so constant switching is going to lead to the student not actually learning very much they need to stick it out with the employer and find out do they like that work experience or do they not like it is it something that they will uh, go forward with in their own thoughts about a career in the future workshops are also a part of transition year we have art workshops we've had a number of art workshops this year we've also had two day music workshops where they learn how to develop their own music and their own podcast production in addition, we've had a first aid workshop for each student, a two-day first aid workshop where they learn about basic first aid and also CPR training and receive a certificate in this area. We see here different pictures of the art workshops which were delivered over the last couple of years in transition year. Class trips are obviously a big part of transition year. They're spread out. Uh, throughout the year in order to accommodate the student timetable and to ensure that students have a balance between class time and also time away from the classroom where they get to experience different things and we see here a vast list of things such as local trips in addition to going to the national plowing championships completing uh, ice skating and Christmas shopping in the Dundrum shopping centre taking part in paintballing activities going to visit and getting a full tour of the Google head office in Barrow Street in Dublin, visiting Crow Park headquarters including receiving the Skyline Stadium tour, um, being a part of the IB Build a Bank final in the RDS in Dublin, completing a riveting and adrenaline based water activity which we'll see pictures of, water rafting in Wicklow, 
going to the Tater Park uh, destination in Mead, going go-karting in Galway, and also as part of their Goshka trip, completing a two-night overnight uh, stay in Glendalough. This is just some of the activities that have been completed over the last couple of years in transition year. In addition to that, you'll see at the bottom, there is a handful of students who may receive the opportunity of uh, going to Shanghai University in China um, to study for two weeks of the Easter break and complete a number of different activities and sightseeing events. We see just a quick snapshot of different pictures of some of these activities over the last couple of years in transition year. So what does a student want to get from transition year? Usually students will reply with things such as they want to improve English, Irish or Maths. They want to take up or start improving or learn a new skill such as singing, guitar, piano when it comes to music. And uh, They might want to focus on work experience. Um, they want to take up or improve or focus in on a sport, an activity or fitness. Many students will say they like to become more organised, more ch mature and understand how behavior can help them in school they may want to improve their communication or uh, their learn how to improve their people skills all of this of course will lead to a more confident student and that really can all combine to lead to confidence and lead to the student progressing forward into fifth year as a more equipped student overall so what does a student student need to do well, the student would need to cooperate with both their teachers and coordinators. They'd also need to participate. All of this will lead to maintaining the teacher's trust. When they maintain the teacher's trust, the students then will have a far more enjoyable transition year because teachers uh, will provide the students with more challenges if they can trust them, will provide them with more activities if they can trust them, and of course get a more of a self-directed learning experience. The basics will always be a big, big part of transition year. In transition year, I expect every student to be in attendance each day unless there is a, a given reason as to why they have an attendance, such as illness. Punctuality is a huge part of transition year. Every student in transition year must be in attendance for the morning registration, which begins at 8.50 a.m. This is extremely important. If the student is not present at 8.50 a.m., they are deemed late for school. Signing in and signing out of school. Well, the student will be on time and present, so there should be no issues with signing in. But if the student needs to sign out, this must be for a valid reason. And they will be provided with an absence book where this must be provided and uh, presented a note each morning as to why they have to sign out. Uniform is the same as for every other student unless provided uh, information from myself about a trip away. Other than that, the student will be wearing their regular uniform. And the student must come to class prepared every day. This means in their school bag they must have their journal, books if required, handout folder, copies. Each student must prevent, present to school with eight hardback copies in uh, September in order to keep account of the materials that they're covering in their classes. In addition, they must have their pencil case with their stationary equipment. Now, when it comes to TY fees, this year the fees will be €360 Euro per student. The fees are paid as follows. 50% will be paid um, through the way-to-pay system. This must be paid by the 1st of May. The remaining €180 Euro must be paid before the student returns to begin school in September. As I said, payment must be done through the way-to-pay system. Fees must be paid, and they must be paid by the deadlines which are provided. If fees are not paid, well then the student will be taken off the list for the transition year programme, and maybe those who are on the waiting list will be subbed in instead. But fees must be paid in advance of transition year commencing. 